Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of That's Not an Error. This is the series where I go through eBay and I look at people selling outrageous stuff for outrageous prices or just outrageous stuff that they say is worth money that no one else will verify. Um, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to stop fraudulent sellers from taking advantage of people who just don't know. Um, you can be part of the problem or part of the solution. These guys are all part of the problem. I'm trying to be part of the solution. I'm here to help you guys spend your money on things that are actually valuable, not garbage. All right, this one is kind of controversial, okay? What do we have this week? Lot of five 2013 Duplicate Series New York B $1 star notes. You guys are all aware of the $1 star note from 2013 B, the New York version, um, where they made duplicate notes. When this was first discovered, those notes, the first pair sold for, what was $150,000 or something crazy like that? The first couple pairs sold for twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. Ridiculous amounts of money. Then, uh, then another pair was made, and another, and another, and another, and another. And it got to the point that anybody who wanted a pair, who wanted the pair, all right, let me, let me phrase this the proper way. Any collector who was willing to purchase a pair of these notes bought a pair of these notes, okay? Which means very few people are actually buying these pairs, which is why the price has gone from 150000 down to, well, the last sale I saw was $5,000. $5,000 for the pair, Okay. Now there's roughly a million of these notes. Uh, was it what? Uh, was it a million? One point three million total from both sets. So there's seven hundred thousand potential matches or something, something like that. Okay. And right now, if you pair one, if you are lucky enough to pair one, you would be lucky to sell it for five grand. Now let's say you do sell it for five grand. eBay is going to take their cut. What's their cut? Ten percent. Okay. So now you're now you're down to four thousand five hundred. If you have a $4,500 sale on eBay, you're probably going to have to pay sales tax on that or whatever. Um, and however the person chooses to pay you, there may be fees involved there. Okay, so your $5,000 note is now down to $4,500. Okay, so that's, that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is you look on eBay and you find somebody that has your note, your pair. Now the two of you could then work together and try to sell this, which means you would now get half of the amount. Now, when I say that, keep in mind that you also are probably going to get the notes graded, regardless of the condition, because that's just the way they've all been selling, graded. Um, so to get these two graded, you're talking 50 to $70 a piece. So you're talking easy $100 in grading fees. Okay, so now your $5,000 for the pair is already down to $4,900. And now you're splitting that, well, whatever the fee for selling it is. So now we're at $4,400. Then you're splitting that in half between the two sellers. So now your $4,400 is down to $2,200 apiece. Okay? $2,200. That is, that, that's the goal. $2,200. Okay? <laughs> the goal is to try to make $2,200. Or $4,400 if you have the pair yourself, right? Everybody agree that's the goal? Get the pair, sell the pair, make as much as we can, which is roughly $4,400. Everybody agree with that? Yes? Yes. Okay. You, <laughs> if there's any debate to that, I'd love to hear it, but I don't know what debate there is to that. So now the question becomes, what are these notes worth individually? Well, this guy has five of them. And uh, let's take a peek. Let, let's let's look real close here. Um, these are not crisp, uncirculated notes. Uh, they're not. They're not in order. Um, you can see how deep some of these creases are here. It's not the greatest picture in the world, um, but you can definitely see there's creases here. You can see crease here. Just looking around the top, you can see the wave on this particular one. So, I mean, you know these are not crisp, uncirculated notes. These are circulated. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just simply saying these are circulated notes 
Yes, they are all from 2013. Yes, they are all the B-Series. Yes, they are all stars. Yes, they all fall in the range. But what does that make them worth? That's the ultimate question. If you have one of these notes with the matching number, then yeah, buy this. Because now instead of spending $2,200 or splitting $2,200, uh, you're spending a lot less on that. However, this guy, for these notes, wants $349.99. $350. Bucks. That comes out to almost $70 per, right? $70, $140, $280. Yeah, that's exactly. It's $70. He wants $70 for each one of these notes in circulated condition, as he says. Okay. What if their pairs don't exist anymore? Because these notes came out in 2013. The average life of a $1 bill is technically about seven months for a $1 bill. They say the average for a, a note in general is about seven years. But even if it is, even if we take that seven years, if half the notes are gone after seven years, these notes have been out there for almost 10 years, which means it's very easy to say that half of these notes no longer exist. That means a good majority of the notes that are out there do not have matches. So it doesn't matter what you pay for this note. If the other note has already been destroyed, you will never match that note. Right? What about this one? I don't know. This one, I don't know. It is safe to say at least half of these notes don't have matches because, like I said, you're talking a seven-year half-life on or shelf life. So it is very easy to assume half of these notes don't have matches. If you can never find a match, then what's it worth? To me, that means it's only worth a dollar because you can't match them. <laughs> the whole point of it is to match them. And if you can't match it, how is it possibly worth more than that? Now, I understand this is a very small print run. You're talking roughly 1.4 million total notes, okay? And of the 1.4 million notes, yes, that is a fairly short print run. So, yes, there may be a little bit of additional value for the notes. But how much? $70? No, I, I think not. $50? No. Maybe $10? Maybe for an unmatched note, that makes sense. Maybe $10, right? I mean, that... <laughs> Here's another way to look at it. I have 100 of these notes, okay? If I was this guy, apparently I'd be asking $70 per note for my 100 notes. Right? That's what he's doing. He's asking $70 per. So if I had 100 notes and I wanted to sell them as a group, according to this guy, I should be selling them for $70 a piece. $70 a piece for my 100 notes means you would have to pay $7,000 for my 100 notes. Why? Because you're hoping to match? You're hoping to get a pair? You can buy a pair for $5,000. Why would you pay me $7,000 for 100 unpaired notes? See how that doesn't make sense? If the object is to get a pair of notes, don't pay $7,000 for mine. Pay $5,000 for someone who's already done all the work, paired the notes, got them graded, and they'll send them to you for five grand. Why would you spend seven grand on me and not get a pair? Potentially getting notes that don't even have pairs because they've already been destroyed. It's stupid. Why would At $10 per, that means you'd be spending $1,000 to get my 100 notes. Okay, well, that's a lot more reasonable. Now you're now you're risking a thousand dollars. You're taking you know you're taking a one in five shot at that particular point. But no, this guy says they're worth seventy dollars a piece. So I had to have a little chat with him, and let's see what we got here. Um, where to go? Let me find him. Which guy is this? This is this one here. So let's look at messages. Uh, where is it? Sorry, I thought I had this queued up right, but we'll just go here. Messages. And here he is. I don't even, he sent me a new one, so this should be good. 
All right, so let's go down here and let's see what this says, because I'm curious now. I said to him, just curious, why do you think these are worth $50 a piece? I was just eyeballing. I saw, I saw these notes at $300. So, um, he says, if you find the duplicate counterpart, the value increases tremendously. I said, what if the duplicate counterpart was destroyed years ago? What if you never find the match? I said, would you pay $25 for one? If not, why do you think 50 is a fair price? Are you saying if I have 100 of these that they're worth $5,000? I thought the last pair sold for $5,000. He says, people will pay what they are willing to pay. That's the game. If someone wants to make an offer, I am all ears. I see people sell items for far more ridiculous prices than common than uh, for common notes and coins. I sold 50, 50 duplicates for $2,500, so something is working. Wow. <laughs> he ripped off somebody that bad. That's 50 notes for 2500 That's amazing that he ripped off somebody that bad. I said, wow. So you are perfectly content scamming people. To be clear, let me move the cursor. I have 114 of these. At half of your asking price, that would be $25 times 114 or $2,850. Would you pay me $2,850 for my notes? That's half of what you are asking. By your logic, you should have no problem doubling your money, right? I take PayPal or Cash App. He says, scamming is selling false or inaccurate info. That I'm absolutely not doing. You can buy from others for more than what I'm asking. Check for yourself. Are you going to call out those people? It's a free country. There we go. It's a free country. You're right. It's a free country. So if you can sell this sh sh crap, I can talk about it. It's a free country to sell what it <laughs> sell at whatever you like. Don't buy from me if you feel that way. I notice you sell bills with very generous markups. Guess you're scamming too if I'm going with your logic, right? I say, nope, I can back my prices with a price guide. All I said was that if you think your notes are worth more than $50 each, you should be willing to buy them for half of that. Clearly, you aren't. That tells me that even you don't believe in your selling price. If you don't believe they are worth that much, then you are selling items for a price that is more than you believe them to be worth. That would be a scam. Don't you think? If you sell something... If you're trying to sell something for more than you think it's worth, okay, uh, I do go after as many as I find. I have over 30 videos on YouTube featuring eBay scammers. Would you like to be added? He says, I'm a hunter, not a buyer. I find everything in circulation. You really have it out for me for what reason I don't know, while there are hundreds of others giving actual false scams and listings out there. Why are you not going out for them? One, they are not hard to find, and that's a threat to uh, that's a threat to put me on a scammer episode when I have a 100% feedback while on eBay for the last 17 years. Go ahead, I've done absolutely nothing wrong, and to propose such a threat is sad and childish, proving to me that I'm that I've actually scammed anybody or lied in any of my listings, and will admit guilt. <laughs> But I wish people would use periods. And I will admit guilt, but that has and never will happen. Just trying to make a few dollars like yourself, but to intimidate me is not a wise move. I don't know what that means. What, to intimidate you is not a wise move. I'm not trying to intimidate you. I'm trying to inform you. I'm trying to ask a serious question as to why you think these notes are worth $70 a piece, but yet you won't pay $25 a piece for them. If you won't pay $25 a piece, they clearly aren't worth $70 a piece. That's all I'm saying. If, and I don't know, but to intimidate me is not a wise move. Is that a threat? I'm just curious. Why would it not be... Uh, why would it not be wise to try to intimidate you? I'm I'm curious. Anyone can change. Anyone can charge anything they like online. Yes, yes, because there's no one to do any checks or balances unless someone decides that they want to make YouTube videos doing checks and balances. And if you don't want it, walk away. Sure. But when the person who buys it comes and tells me that they bought it and they want to hear how good of a deal is, then I have to tell them that you scammed them. And since they already left you positive feedback, there's nothing they can do about it. So I have to stop them from buying from you in the first place. Why do you care what I charge when others charge ridiculous prices for similar listings? I'd like to know, please. Okay, I'll let you know.
I go after as many as I can. You choose to be part of the problem. I choose to be part of the solution. I'm not going after you. I'm going after all of you. You just happen to be one of them. That's by your choice. Do you have any idea how many people I'm having this exact same debate with? <laughs> like I said, as I'm doing this, I'm going back and forth with many of these eBay sellers. Thank you for admitting that the notes you are selling for $69.80 each can easily be found for face value in circulation. I wasn't planning on using you, but since I also post uh, the correspondence, this should make a decent video. He says, you go ahead. If you can prove I've actually truly 100% scammed anybody, go ahead. I would love to hear the context of your vid and the proof I scammed anybody, but you know I haven't. My feedback score is 100% and to post a vid won't make you look any better. But if you feel you want to destroy an innocent eBay seller, then be my guest. All right, well, there you go. I'm being his guest. Once again, he's selling five notes for $70 a piece. He won't buy them for $25 a piece. Why? Why? <laughs> that, that's, I, I don't know how else to put it. If they're worth $70, he should more be more than happy to buy twenty buy them for $25, and then he can resell them for $70, $70 a piece. I mean, come on. If I was selling a $50 bill for $20, you'd jump on that. If I was selling a $100 bill for $25, you'd take that in a heartbeat. Well, I'm still, I'm offering you... I'm offering you 100 notes that you claim are worth $70 a piece... You're, that's, those are your numbers. <laughs> your page, your numbers. You say they're worth $70 a piece. That's what you want for them. Fine. Take mine for $25 a piece. And uh, and resell them and make, you know, triple your money at that price, actually. Unless, of course, you really don't believe they're worth $70 a piece. If you don't believe they're worth that much, yet you're trying to get that much for them anyway, maybe that's a scam. I don't know how you define scam, but if I know something to be worth $10 and I try to sell it for $50, that's a scam. Uh, and no, it's not you personally. It's everybody like you, and you choose to be in that group. Like I said, I've got 30 plus videos out there, so I'm not coming after you. I'm coming after all of you. You just choose to put yourself in that category. Therefore, you get a video. All right, guys, if you learned anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. Love reading all your comments. Uh, I will put a link down below so you can t contact this guy as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.